Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Reveals medical coup underway to forcibly remove Trump from office. Since the Democratic members of Congress have been impotent in their attempts to thwart Trump's agenda, they have resorted to what they do best, fear-mongering. After all, nothing else has worked, so it is time to play the crazy card, and that is exactly what their next move is. Trump is a crazy man who is going to get worse and will become uncontainable with the pressures of the presidency, according to Dr. Brandy X. Lee, a Yale University psychiatry professor. Otherwise known as a chicken little the sky is falling type of crazy herself. So yes, the deranged Democrats have resorted to eating their own with the inmates now running the asylum. Not just one inmate, actually there are 27 inmates, who have gotten together, because, birds of a feather flock together, and written a book entitled, The Dangerous Case of Donald Trump whereby they indicate it is their duty to warn us all about what a madman he is and that his mental illness is catching because his followers, supporters, are cult-like. On December 5th and 6th, Dr. Lee and her cohort, Dr. James Gilligan, put on an incidental dog and pony show for more than a dozen Democrats and one lone Republican, all members of the House of Representatives and the Senate, according to the Weekly Standard. This was an impromptu meeting arranged by a former U.S. attorney no less, according to an interview with Vox. There. Lee and Gilligan were able to put forth the notion that Trump is going mad. He is drawn to violent videos, returning to conspiracy theories, and tweeting. Yep, if ever there was a sign of going nuts, it's when you tweet. In all seriousness, this is not a joke. This lady is being entertained by our representatives, and she said, one senator said that it was the meeting he most looked forward to in 11 years. Not only that, but Lee went on to say, that, their level of concern about the president's dangerousness was surprisingly high. While being rolled out as an impromptu and incidental meeting, like the type you have when you run into an old friend, it sounds like anything but. According to the New York Daily News, it was 16 hours of presentations over the course of two days. The need for the 16 hours impromptu presentation was to relay just how serious this is and that we are in a state of emergency. From the medical perspective, when we see someone unraveling like this, it's an emergency, Lee espoused, and went on, we've never come so close in my career to this level of catastrophic violence that could be the end of humankind. The response to her presentations has been overwhelming. So much so that there are more such witch hunts to come. She appears to be on a mission and has rallied her colleagues, Judith Herman, Harvard, and Roger J. Lifton, Columbia, to get rid of President Trump. She has issued the call that those around, take urgent steps to restrain him so as to head off the potential nuclear catastrophe that endangers not only Korea and the United States but all of humankind. Notice they don't seem to care that it is the little fat guy with a bad haircut over in North Korea also known as Rocket Man who keeps pushing the button to launch missiles and has managed to bomb his own country. Pshaw. No, it's Trump that is nuts, not the guy actually launching missiles and threatening the free world.